Local 175 was built on the collective efforts of those who saw the necessity to grow as a union. Many mergers took place over the years to ensure the best quality representation and access to resources for our strong membership. The uh, most dramatic effect on our union, the retail clerks, and the amalgamated meat cutter took place in that a merger was put together uh, to create the UFCW. Uh, and uh, we then in Canada established two regions, uh, 18 and 19. Uh, Bill Hanley was running what was called the Ontario Retail Council and uh, our three local unions in, in Ontario, being Local 409 in Thunder Bay, uh, Local 486 in Ottawa, and Local 206 based out of Kitchener, uh, decided that they collectively would merge with the Ontario Retail Council and uh, became part of Local 175. The Ontario Retail Council was made up of uh, uh, four local unions when I joined. Uh, there was Local 725, which was a department store uh, union, uh, or local. There was Local 175 that had most of the food stores. There was Local 633, which had some of the meat packing as well as the meat cutters. And then there was a Local um, 1105P, which was the poultry uh, local that uh, merged in with the Ontario Retail Council. As a result of the uh, uh, convention and the merger of the retail clerks and, UFC and the amalgamated to form UFCW, um, councils had to consolidate themselves into local unions. So those four local unions consolidated themselves to form Local 175. Uh, local 206 uh, and uh, Local 409 in northwestern Ontario and Local 486, which is out of Ottawa and uh, eastern Ontario, in um, November of 1987, uh, those three local unions merged with Local 175 because, as you know, Local 175 was a provincial local union. And at the time, um, there were members that uh, were being serviced by 175 in Thunder Bay, in Ottawa, in the Kitchener area, etc. Uh, that there were also being different members were being serviced by the other locals, 206, 409, and 486, and it was determined um, that it made sense to put everything together. We merged the two regions, I think it was in March of 88, and, and Bill Hanley was the director then of uh, one region and I was the director of the other. Uh, he, uh, in his wisdom or lack thereof, decided I should be the director and uh, he continued to run uh, 175, which was the largest local union in the international, never mind in Canada. On January the 15th, I think it was, 1987, you appointed a task force to go across this country to try to bring us together so that we could merge two regions. That was one year, two months, two days ago. Today I want to tell you, March 17th, 1988, I am proud to be part of this. One year, two months, two days, we have accomplished what you gave us to do. Yesterday in this hotel, we began a new chapter in the history of our union. More than a chapter, we began a volume in that history, which goes back over a hundred years. At long last, we will in fact have been in name, what we have been in name since 1979, one union, one powerful and respected union representing over 160,000 members. The United Food and Commercial Workers in Canada represents more women, 
more people from ethnic minorities, more francophones, than any other private sector union in this country. I think the, the diversity that the, the local union has as a result of those mergers is very important and uh, it's important uh, for, for two reasons. One is for collective bargaining obviously but also to enable the local union to go out and to, to organize more workers into those various sectors. Well, I think the, the, uh, the forerunners of, of, uh, of UFCW um, and even our leadership today, our, our international and national leadership today, see the benefit of having large local unions that are diversified. Um, I think that we all recognize there's strength in numbers. Um, the, the, the more uh, density we have in a sector, the greater number of members that we have as resources within a local union um, just makes us stronger. We're in a better position to negotiate better collective agreements, uh, stronger collective agreements, and, and fight on behalf of workers. Uh, you know, you've got the people resource, you've got the financial resources. So what the mergers have done for Local 175 over the years is bring that collective strength. You know, our people are strong. The, the, the strength in Local 175 has always been in its, uh, in its staff. Uh, right from, from, from leadership to the directors to the, the field staff out there that, that have always done a, an incredible job from the, from the time when I was a, a rep, a, a member uh, back in, uh, in London in Miracle Food Mart store in 76, right up to the time that I left the local. The, the, the staff have been an integral, integral part of, of keeping the local together. I think there was about 11,000 when I became president. When I left, through the mergers, through the organizing, we were somewhere in the neighborhood of about 44,000 people in Ontario alone.